Hello out there. Johnny Daniel, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. How are you tonight? I'm just getting the computer set up, of course. So, hopefully you're doing okay. Tonight we are doing something a little quick and a little bit easy to get your holiday season, yes, you heard me right, kicked off. Um, since the holiday catalog started today, I thought we would do something that wasn't from the holiday catalog. I know, you expected that, right? Um, but, I mean, obviously you can do it very easily with it, but, um, I want to just do something quick and easy with a little gift inside. So, if you're on this right now, you might want to tell your friends that I'm going to be doing a little idea. Hi, Jude. How are you, hun? Um... Hey, Lise. So I'm going to be doing an idea of what to do um, for when you're in a hurry, ready to go, you know, trying to get out to that party or you know how that goes. So grab a sip of tea and we'll be on our way. And I have a couple tips for you. So tonight, if I can unbury it. I put that extra light on, so I hope that helps with the shadows. I know last week it was pretty bad, especially since um, winter time is starting again. So, um, so we're gonna do this little pocket, which is super super easy, and I've got some spider earrings in there. So, um, just to kind of commemorate the season, shall we say? Okay. So we're gonna do this real quick, and I've got some quick little tips for you. Okay. So I'm just going to make some room, as always, and let's see. Um, one other tip for you, if you wanted to put this into like a bag, if you had something looser or whatnot, um, the new braided linen trim would be a great tie for this. This is in the holiday catalog. But this would be a great tie for your outer cello bag if you wanted to keep a whole bunch of stuff in there. And I'll explain in a minute, but just wanted to tell you that before I put it elsewhere. So this is a great thing if you have, you know, limited space in luggage, can only bring a glue, you know, one glue can only bring one thing, you know, that kind of thing. So, and like you're going for Thanksgiving dinner at Auntie's house. Hi, Lise, or hey, Cheryl, how are you? And this is a great idea for um, if you're going to Auntie's house and you only have 15 minutes to do the whole thing and you only have one box to put it in, okay? Cute little favors for on the table, too. You know, probably just don't have to bag them then. So anyways, so we're going to make this real quick. Um, if you don't know what it's called, it's called a diaper fold um, treat favor. So if, um, and you start with any size square. So this is a six by six here, but honestly, you can go up to 12 by 12. You can go as big as your paper goes, as long as it is square. So you need a piece of cardstock. Preferably designer paper because it's a little thinner and it won't crack um, and You're gonna need it to be square Okay, perfectly perfectly square. All right, so with this when we do this we are going to Figure out what we want to be the inside what we want to be the outside. Okay when it's the inside You are gonna see it on the top flap here and a tiny bit here when it's folded over Okay, if you don't want this big of an emblem, don't. <laughs> it's just that simple. So, um, it's just what I chose. Um, you can choose differently, obviously. 
So we've got a square here. This is our six by six. This is our wood texture paper. This is going to be my inside. So, um, so you bring it to the diamond side and you bring it point to point. Now I kind of hold it with one finger here and do my little dent here in the middle so it doesn't pop out at me. Just a, just a little tip. So you've got that. You want to crease these really well. Okay, and then you are going to take this point and you are going to go about not quite three quarters of the way, okay, across. And the main thing you want to make sure of is that this is pretty straight because otherwise your fold over will be very crooked later, okay. And then you're going to take this point and you're going to go over this way. Now, because I can't hang over as much with my head, <laughs> you just want to make sure that everything is straight, okay? So there you go. And we're like more than halfway done, okay? With school starting and everything else, I, and you know, the whole thing of like Halloween treats for the classroom, all that kind of, this is, this is the quick idea of what to do besides throwing it in a cello bag and stapling a topper to it, okay? So, that is pretty much what I've got for my little pocket. So how's everybody doing so far? Do we already know how to do this? I'm not sure if you do, but I wanted to just do a quick and easy. All right. So I'm going to grab some beading tape, tear and tape, wonder tape, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to stick that down because I don't want it to pop up, okay? If you want it to pop up, don't. Here's another tip for you. Grab your bone folder, stick it down in here, and twist, and twist, and twist. That'll flex that paper enough so you can stick something down in there and not crack your paper, okay? So we're going to do our emblem now, and I'm trying to keep organized so I don't lose where I am and what I'm doing. So this is Sahara Sand that I'm using, but honestly it's a new ink pad. So the stamps come from Rooted in Nature, so I want to make sure it's inked fully. But then I'm going to stamp off at least once, maybe twice. And give it a couple seconds to get into that paper. There we go. Let me get recentered here. Okay, so I'm gonna close my Sahara sand. One thing with this, you want to make sure your ink pads are all the way down because if you twist or flip it and it's not, it's gonna pop these joints because there's no um, allowance and then you will have an ink pad that doesn't seal and you will have to buy another one which well for me it's still a bad thing because you don't get to have new stuff okay so the other color I'm using is early espresso and I'm just stamping a thinking of you because obviously we are right okay so my near black on this one Okay, so I'm done with my ink pads, so those are going to go to the wayside, and then I'm going to get my infamous um, my infamous Big Shot here. If your pads are, if you just bought a Big Shot, I just want to tell you, this is normal, okay? If your pads are warping, don't always put it through the same way. Turn it this way, flip, do, okay? Do not put the new pads in the oven on a very low temp to kind of melt them back into shape. Um, the old ones you could do that with, but these new ones will crack. So please don't do that. Um, I don't know what kind of injury you'll have, but honestly, it's... Um, not a good thing so please don't okay so I've got my 
thinking of you here. Let me grab my, put my circle down and I'm gonna pull off my two, my adapter and my other. And this time we're gonna do the subtles folder. And the reason I'm doing this is just to give a tiny bit of texture. If you wanted to use the wood um, plank, if you wanted to use, I mean, there's plenty of texture and different things you could do. So if you wanted to do that, you can. I just wanted just a hint, kind of a linen kind of look. So I'm running out of room, as always, when I'm trying to stay in a confined space instead of all three tables, right? <laughs> Three meaning the dining room too. All right, so we've got this little guy glued down. We've done the bone folder inside there. So all we have left is to stick this down. Now, one thing, you can use snail. You can use dimensionals. You can use glue dots. But remember what I said when we first started, if you've been with me the whole time? This was supposed to be an easy one shot one adhesive, one kind of paper, that kind of thing. Okay, so you might want to have the embellishments done or the accents done before you leave because you don't want to have to carry a big shot, right? So this is why I am using the tear and tape for the accent piece. You're going to want to not put on the very top because it does stick up a tiny bit. So you're going to want to go about halfway down and don't do the same mistake I did the first time and put the tape, what I thought was the middle and the bottom, and it was upside down, so it was the very top, okay? Um, if you have trouble peeling this, kind of mush it down, and the more it sticks to the paper, the less it'll stick to you. So, so there you go on that. And then, like I said, these just fit so nicely, don't they? So that is what um, I have prepared for you for tonight. Let me get it closer. So that's what I have prepared for you for tonight. Just a quick little gimme. So at least if you're still on, you know, when the Elks or Hearts call and say they need 200 or something, these are pretty easy. So, um, so that's about it for tonight. Hope you enjoyed. We'll have something again next week. Hope you enjoyed the contest. Will I will be announcing on Friday, I will be announcing the winner for the open house contest. Remember when I gave you samples and bits? Hey Chris, how are you? And when I gave you samples and bits and said, here's the contest, go make something. So I will announce that on Friday. And um, will the rest of it, on it goes, right? So. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great night. Bye-bye.